It is stupid o'clock, which can only mean one thing. We are going international. Yes, this morning, it is, I got a lie in this morning, in fairness. It is 4.31, which is a half an hour extra over the last time. Uh, but as you can imagine, it's still 4.31. And I'm heading to Dublin International Airport. Okay, this is where Aer Lingus and Dublin Airport absolutely screw up every time. They tell you that all Aer Lingus flights leave through Terminal 2. You get to Terminal 2, you find out that the terminal you need is Terminal 1. You don't know that till you pass security. My gate is 301. 301 is in Terminal 1. Anything between gate 100 and 335, I think it is, is in uh, Terminal 1. Anything from 400 onwards is in Terminal 2. So I come in through Terminal 2, go through security through here, now we take escalators and elevators across the entire airport to get to the other side. Thanks very much, Dublin Airport. Thanks very much, Ernie. You think you can sort it out? So you land, you walk off without security, but you're walking by security down to other gates. So it's a bit odd. Any Ausgang, what we're looking for, exit. So I definitely wouldn't have a clue how to get out of any airport or get around any city. And this will follow us with a little sign overhead. Today's sign is Scrum.
ultimate travel tip that I'll give you today. This is for free. See these things here? This is one of those adapters that changes those three pin plugs into a two pin plug so you can use them in Europe. Very useful. But what if you only have one of these and in modern days I have to charge this camera, I have to charge my phone, I have to charge my big camera, I charge everything. So I need more than this. You bring this and you bring one of these. Cheers to Aer Lingus for this one because this is the multi USB plug. As you can see there is actually four USB ports on the top of this one plug. And so that means I can plug it in. By the way I bought this adapter in Ikea. Hold on. Get in the hole, thanks. The only big problem with it is that light. See that light that's on it right now? That thing is like a beacon in the night. So when you want to charge your phone, take off this cable here, that light stays on all night. Please get rid of the light. Stupid idea. This is like a braking test. This guy's gonna be really loud. Here we go. It's a braking test. It's an incredible braking test. But it's a braking test. So the idea is you get up to a certain speed, slam on the brakes, and steer your way through the gap. Sounds terrifying on the walkie talkie. Will be go slower, begin to steer. Next car. He sounds like Elmer Foot. <laughs> Stay a little bit longer on the way. You see that you are able to break and steer the car. Yes. What about? I'm going. It's like a mental test. Oh, this goes too fast. <laughs> this was too fast. <laughs> but that can happen, no problem. I love the axe. Just uh, had to do a short interview with these guys, which is kind of cool. See what the car was like. Now collect bikes back to hotel ASAP. Bikes here. Gotta leg it, man. Some track, some day. What a day.